Duda. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions again. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Follow us on social media. Today we're reacting to a song, a superstar Rajnikanth song. Uh, in Ishwari Rai from what? Inferion, which I believe is the same film that the one with the Machu Picchu. Uh, but it's called, it's called Kadal Unakal, which is a Shreya Ghoshal and it's A.R. Rahman. Oh, uh, of course. Good night. Uh, so read that. This romantic song is from director Shankar's movie from Interam. Same I director. Yes. And lyrics written by Varimutu. Superstar Rajnikanth is a scientist who tries to pacify his lover, Ashwarya, with sweet words for not spending time with her due to his research experiments. His love for both science and the heroine is described in the metaphorical lyrics. The song was shot in Lejoa Maranhenses National Park in Brazil. So there they were. They were by Machu Picchu again. Wow. With go. the hardest working woman in Bollywood. But I believe this is a Tamil film. Yes, but Ashwarya is still the hardest working woman in Bollywood. Uh, I give that to Roddy Gopte, because I want to. <laughs> <laughs> you know who we haven't heard from in... Roddy Gopte, why months? don't you answer my calls? No. Oh. Well, uh... Kalki. Kalki Keiko? Yeah, we so haven't she's been seen... Friends. I haven't seen any... I'm like, she's had well, she's done stuff. We haven't seen any poetry. We haven't seen any trailers. That's true. We Let's used to do on. a lot of the of Kalki stuff our first year. Let's get on that. Yeah. Here we go. And, and, uh... Topsy. Yeah, yeah, we need to get more Topsy for sure. Whoa. Was that a Mirage or did it? <laughs> it's Super Star Mirage. You see what I do? Whatever the you want. That's true. Nice 12 string. She's a Mirage. Nice chord. She's like, yes, I am. What is this park? I want to go to this. It's like an oasis in a desert. Right there, right? Yeah. Just a body of water in the middle of a desert. You don't often see that. Oh, that was great! These lyrics are fantastic. has done more films than like any other actress, right? She's in like everything. So that choice is so good. Oh, it's Shreya Ghoshal. It's the muscular duck. No, it, it was the underscore. I've never 
never heard of this park, but I want to go now. I don't even know that, how that happened. In Brazil? Does it just rain? Does it have like a big monsoon so it floods the desert? I'm so confused. I'm so intrigued though. I, I me too. song but equally beautiful uh place that now I want to go to <laughs> <laughs> truly uh and Amida was that who did our subs for us because the subbing yes the subbing I I'm guessing was spectacular and thank you so much for the backstory because knowing that the song is the scientist talking about the comparative love for what he does with his work and what he how he feels for her yeah it would have been. Sh it would have been like this is weird. What are all these science terms in there for? But knowing the context, yeah. And the other thing, you saw me going crazy over the, the chords mm -hmm. of the song composition. But for the production team, I noticed over and over again what a small footprint they made in that park on that sand. I'm looking all over the place for any kind of markings from a tripod setup with a sandbag that's on there to hold the lights together to a tracking rig to anything. There were barely even markings from their footprints in a lot of those shots. I bet since it's a national park, they have a lot of rules. Oh, I bet they did. But yeah. even in the frame, they made sure that that was it, mostly clean. They filmed at Matsu Picchu, which is almost impossible to film at. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But very restricted. They were super clean, and yes, you know me. If you've been around at all, I noticed. I'm giving it a pass. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? He was playing perfectly. <laughs> uh, but yeah. When did, uh, when in his career did he switch from, because I know in that one Mani Ratnam film that, that he's in with uh, Mahmoodi, that we saw that song from, remember? Uh, and the actress that was in the original of the um, Akshay Bulbul, Bulbul, Bul, the crazy dance scene at the end of it. Where at she the end of Bulbul? We just reacted to it the other day. Oh, 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 sorry. Yes, sorry. Yeah. Yes, what about that? Uh, that film. Right. Which is Mani Ratnam. Right. I know people said it's one of his best performances and before he became superstar. Which was that film. And so all Correct. the subsequent roles almost became larger than life. Right, because they fit his, it was about demeanor. Him. Right. Yeah, so they fit who Raj Khan is. Correct. At that time, but is that the film that it stopped at? Like him him being kind of right. like realistic yeah. how, style of acting? How quickly did that happen in his career when the film started to be fashioned around the fact that it's the way him. the way in the beginning of Shah Rukh Khan, he had to he basically right. was like, This is Shah, the the guy Shah Rukh Khan is bigger than the actor. Correct. So then that's what the, the audience expect. And believe it or not, that's actually a trajectory. You won't like this comparison, I don't think, but that's a trajectory that happened for Stallone. Mm -hmm. um, because Stallone started in an independent film that was really well respected called The Lords of Flatbush. And then he did Rocky, which won an Oscar, and he was nominated for Best Actor. And then very shortly after Rocky, 
he did a movie called Fist, which was a serious, dramatic turn on the Great Depression. Yeah. And critics didn't like it, and nobody liked him outside of the Rocky persona. Mm. And then even after First Blood, which was more about him acting than it was action, he recognized, as much as I want to do this, like, he's always wanted to do a film about Edgar Allan Poe, but he's, he knows no one will believe him as Edgar Allan Poe or want to see him. So he made the choice right after First Blood that I'm Rocky and Rambo, and that's what they're going to want to see me do. So mm. all of his choices after that were <laughs> action and adventure, even though in his heart, he's genuinely an artist. He loves acting. He loves film. Mm. Uh, and he loves writing film. Just sucks and he's a he painter. Sucks at acting. And he's a painter. So, but you know who else was a painter? Hitler. Great job, Stallone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, let us know what the wow. next Rashi Khan song and which should be the first. We've never oh. seen a Rashi Khan film. Uh, what should be the first Rashi Khan film that we watch? And uh, don't be a painter, because then you. I was just gonna, yeah. <laughs> Tuh malah cerdik.